friends. Around me you can see lots of big and really small pumpkins, right? So this month we're learning about big and small, about how God is big and we're small, but God still cares about us and he really cares about every detail of our lives. And we're learning about Job. And so this week we're going to learn all about how God listens to us when we have big feelings. So enjoy our video, friends, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Hey, friends! You came at just the perfect time. I was going to play a game. Do you like games? Scream out yes if you do. <laughs> so this game is called Guess the Feeling. What are feelings? A feeling is when you feel sad, happy, scared, wiggly. What's wiggly? Wiggly is when you just... So let's get to the game, okay? First up is this. Happy. Sad. Friends, my mom had to take my grandma to the hospital. I love my grandma. She tells funny stories and makes the best cookies. But what if... What if something really terrible happened to her? Sorry, everyone. I don't feel like wiggling anymore. Callie, maybe you should listen to a Bible story. That might help you. That's a good idea. It just might. It's time for today's Bible story. We're back in the book of Job, and we're learning about a guy named Job. Remember him? He was a really good guy. He didn't sin and even asked God's forgiveness for other people that may have sinned and had not asked God to forgive them. God was super proud of Job and knew that Job had the kind of trust and confidence in God that was strong enough to stand up against any test. So Job lost all his children and all he owned and ended up with big sores all over his body. Through it all, Job never said a bad thing about God. Not one word. You might think, wow, was Job some kind of robot without feelings? But Job was no robot. He had very big feelings about all that happened. He probably felt very sad. Maybe he felt angry. He, he probably felt confused. And he knew exactly where to go with these big feelings. Straight to God. So Job cried out to God because he knew God listens when we have big feelings. You know what? That story really helped me. The story of Job is sad, kind of like how I feel right now. But Job did something that I didn't do yet. Can you tell me what it is? Pray! Exactly. God knows us so well when we are happy and when we are sad. We can talk to God about everything. So maybe I can pray and tell God how sad I feel and would like my grandma to feel better so we can bake cookies again. I know God wants to hear from me. I know that if Joe could talk, I'd want to hear what he had to say too. Do you want to pray with me, Joe? You can join me too! God, I feel very sad about my grandma being in the hospital. Please help her feel better so we can bake cookies again. In Jesus' name, Amen. I feel much better. Thank you for praying with me, friends. Today's big idea is God listens when we have big feelings. Can you say that with me? God listens when we have big feelings. I'm so happy to know that God listens when we have big feelings. Not only my feelings, though. Yours, too. So you can talk to God whenever you feel sad, happy, angry, scared, anything. God wants to hear about it. Well, thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. Catch you next time. Well, friends, we just heard all about how God listens.
persons when we have big feelings. And about how Job had big feelings, but God still listened to him. So, and that there's nothing too big for God to handle. So this week we would like you to discuss with your family these two questions. If you were Job, what are some things you might have wanted to say out loud? And then the second one, what should we do when we have big feelings? Friends, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day and thank you for everything that you've given us. Thank you for this time to just learn more about you. God, help us to remember that uh, nothing is too big for you to handle, God. And thank you just for this time and for this uh, great reminder, God. And help us just to remember that um, sometimes we might have big feelings like Job did, but God, that you're always there for us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Friends, we have Treat Street coming up soon, and you will hear more information about that in the newsletter. Bye, friends!